you were trained as a sommelier. Yes. How do you train your palate to do that? Yes. So I have a trick with that. And I'm probably most people have the same trick, but I actually can verbalize it. And what I do is um, you smell everything and then you say everything. So if you smell it, you say it. So it's a great Seattle example. You're outside, it's summertime and it begins to rain. The rain hits the warm pavement and it smells like stone. You can put that in your mind and say wet stone. And now you know, okay, that's what wet stone smells like. So you might have a beautiful uh, Bordeaux that you're, you're tasting. You go to smell it and you say, oh, there's that wet stone that I smelled last summer. So this is how you do it. You actually have to smell it and then say it. And that burns it into your memory. One that I love is um, passion fruit. People always say that they have passion fruit. It smells like passion fruit. So I went to the store and got a passion fruit, opened it, smelled it. Well, guess what it smells like? A white grape. <laughs> oh. It's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to sound fancier than yeah, you really exactly. are. Passion fruit in the white wine. <laughs> or just the grapes that it was made from. Yes, but I'm talking about everything. Cotton, you know, you smell your shirt. What does that smell like? You know, give a word to it. Um, a Band-Aid, that is a smell that can be in wine. And that means that your wine is flawed. It's not good. Uh, you know, old world, new world. You can smell age in a wine. And so all of that, you have to, to smell it and say it. And then it, it actually burns into your memory. <laughs>